Hello, folks. Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a 12-box inner case break from a fresh master case right there of that 2018 Panini Certified Football. Pick your team number five. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. There's everyone right there. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to pop open that case. We're going to mark the cases L and R, left and right. And then we'll come back. We'll do the dice roll to see which side we're going to do. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. All right. All right. I think some of you, if you're watching on a decently sized screen, you'll see the L right there and the R right there for left and right. So, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Sam guessing four. It's going to be all the way over there. I don't think it's four is facing us, so I don't think it's going to be four. It's going to be five. Still the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do side R. R. There it is. Side R. R. Knife over there. All right, so let's pop this case, this inner case open here. Drop all the boxes on the table right in front of us here. Not box. All right, there's four on the right hand side, four in the center, and four on the left. Let's do a Michael Bay helicopter shot. Nice, nice. There you go. There's all 12 boxes. We'll land the helicopter safely here. Then we'll jump into our break. Good luck, everybody. Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for some football, ladies and gentlemen? I'll be honest with you, boys and girls. I'm not ready for football. But I'm getting into it. I think my head has been in, in World Cup land. Has been in baseball land. But now, starting to see a lot more training camp stuff, programs starting to, starting to appear, a lot more news and quotes and reports from training camp. That's getting exciting. So it's, it's all happening. That's start, starting to fire me up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, box one, four hits per box. Good luck, everybody. All right. Oh, Dylan wants that uh, that Jimmy G Kiara 
dual auto. I don't think we've seen a dual auto out of here yet, right? Maybe today is the day. There's Josh Norman. So we're going to sleeve all of those up later on. There's Melvin Ingram. Nice. 9 out of 50. Mirror signatures. It's pretty cool. And we'll top load, sleeve and top load all these before they get sent out. James Washington is our first patch autograph. That's a catch out of 149. That'll be for Steel Curtain, Michael Gallucci, the Steelers. That was his hot date. I don't know who that per that other person is. I know who Jimmy G is out of 99. Is it just me or is it just Jimmy G uh, has, has, some, has some salt and pepper in his hair already? He's stressing out? I guess it's hard being better than Tom Brady. Rock Thomas. And Sony Michelle. New Generation Relic. What's a, what's a Kiara? What what is what, what is that? There's Alex Smith. Two, three, four, perfect. Oh. Oh, she's an adult film star. I see. I see. I mean, it's a family-friendly show, Bill. I don't want angry emails from moms and dads who are like, left my kid alone with Jaspie's Hobbyland. Next thing you know, they're, they're, they're Googling all these, uh, these ladies. It's on the on, on the not safe search. Next thing you know, angry emails. Dear Jaspie's Hobbyland, thought you were a family friendly show. Then I'll have to explain to them, well, it's you know, it's more PG thirteen. You know, this is not like it's not like a G rated show. I'll, and I'll be like, oh, they're probably looking up worse stuff anyway. No, they're not. How dare you? Wait, LeGarrette Blunt's a lion? Huh. There it is. Missed that. There's Jaleel Scott. Great Scott. 31 out of 50. Remember that? In uh, Back to the Future. Great Scott. And there's James Washington relic. New generation relic. For Michael. The Jaspie's difference, right? That's what sets us apart from other breakers. And gold, Josh Gordon, 24 out of 25. This guy's going to ball out for the Browns, for the 8-8 eight eight Browns, Stephen K. Jared says you might find that dual autograph in Ginter instead, Dylan. Hey, there he is. Jimmy G. 
Hey, there he is again, Jimmy Garoppolo. Can't get away from Jimmy Garoppolo. And nice. Alvin Kamara, mirror signatures to 40. Oh man, if Des Bryant ends up, Jared, if Des Bryant ends up in uh in Cleveland with the Browns opposite of Josh Gordon. Um opposite of Josh Gordon, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna be like, well, That that gives that gives the Browns nine wins. That's what I say. Nine wins. I don't think Des Bryant gives them nine wins, but definitely makes my eight wins sound a lot better. <laughs> um, are we gonna get weekly college football picks? Probably not. Not a. Not really. Not really. Uh, I watch it. Like we'll be breaking on Saturdays, obviously. So we'll, we'll be there'll be college football on always. Um, I don't know. Never really got into the. Uh, oh, sorry, the Camara. Do you have the Saints? Sorry, Stephen K. Twenty three out of forty. Getting sloppy. It's at the end of the week. Tired. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, the college football. You'll 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 get uh you'll get you'll get my NFL picks. For free, ladies and gentlemen, I'm giving you these these square picks for free. You get square picks for free. Sure, you can pay money to so-called sharps and other touts. Why do that when you can just get free picks from me? I'll I'll probably do just as well. I'm a little over fifty percent on baseball picks this year. It's just as good as anybody else. All right. Next box. Points. Winner take all on the points if we get more than one of those. Monty Dawson, David Johnson, Mark Andrews, and Nick Chubb. Nice. Three out of 25. Gold for the Browns. Stephen K. And the Browns. Mike Kosicki out of 299. For the Dolphins, that'll be for Jonah. Yeah, college football probably would be the easiest to parlay. I try not to. Parlays, parlays are like, parlays like spot randomizers. <laughs> They're kind of like, yeah, that sounds great, you know. But you can't do them too often. Maybe every once in a while, you can't do them too often. But the the lure to do them too often is often too strong. I like college basketball parlays, like a Thursday night college basketball game. You can often get a little value out of there, though. I just feel I just feel like college football is is just far too far too volatile. You know, some some like eighteen year old kid like misses a thirty yard field goal, and then uh, and then that just Where's the oh those are the points? Then that um that just f's your day. You're like, <sighs> yeah thanks thanks a lot, thanks a lot eighteen year old kid, missing that field goal like couldn't make the soccer team, and the desperate football team picked him up.
All right, next box. And we've got Fabric of the Game, the Duke, Duke Johnson. Duke, 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 Duke of Earl, Duke, Duke, Duke of Earl. You guys remember that song? Who remembers that song? Uh, that, was a, that was a big hit. Brown, Stephen K. That was the that was that was the hit. That was the big hit of my childhood, ladies and gentlemen. Out of 299, Sam Darnold for the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. That'll go to Jason L. Rookie roll call. Out of 99, Jalen Samuels for Steel Curtain and his Steelers. Nobody remembers the Duke of Earl, huh? And Freshman Fabric, another Nick Chubb. 105 out of 199 for Stephen K. and the Cleveland Browns. Look at that. Nice. I know, right? Sam Rolled. Sam Rolled's like Stephen K. hitting early and often. Indeed. Michael Strahan. Rogers. Discount double check. Um, if you are a... Uh, if you are a regular here at Jaspie's Hobbyland and you've got a child between the ages of 7 and 13 and if you want to go to the Super Bowl, email us, jaspieshobbyland at gmail.com. Subject line, kid reporter. Next box. Good luck. Immortals. Rasheem Green. The Green Machine. Certified Potential. 3 out of 10. That goes to John H. and the Seahawks. Nice Immortals. And another Steeler for Steel Curtain. James Washington, 49 out of 50. Devontae Parker, Certified Gamers, out of 149. That'll be for Jonah and the Dolphinos, the Dolphins, the Finns. Shark Week. They're not sharks. Here's Shark Week, DJ Shark Week. Nice, 50 out of 50. Nice new generation relic for the Jaguar, Sam Roll. There you go, Sam.
who's been watching Shark Week? <laughs> and if so, um, what have you learned? Uh, it was James Washington, Sam. What have you learned? I've I've unfortunately not been watching Shark Week. I actually thought it was next week. Shows how much I pay attention. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, Sam, you watched the Guy Fieri special? What, what was that about? Was he... Was he cooking some shark? Kuti out of 299, new generation relic for the Texans. Ryan Rayner with that one. Josh McCown. Downtown Antonio Brown clutch performers relic for the Steelers at a 399 seal curtain. Swimming with sharks and feasting. I feel like that's just kind of mailing it in. It's like, oh yeah, go go uh Go swim with some sharks and then do the show that you normally would on Food Network. I want to see like Guy Fieri. I want to see him like, like catch like an MFing shark, like with his bare hands or something like that. You know, be like tonight on Shark Week. Like there's rookie roll call Michael Gallup, 11 out of 50 galloping to the Cowboys. You know what I mean? I want him to go there. And, and like catch a shark with his bare hands, you know, and then and then get like a big knife and just cut open that shark and pop it on a grill and be like, boom, shark shark time. There's Traquan Smith out of two forty nine. All he did was hold one. Did he hold like a baby shark and it was like Shark Week, you know? Diners, drive-ins, and sharks. Is there a video anywhere of what Jaspie's Hobbyland looks like? Uh, sure. Here's the video right now. There it is. That's where I watch MLS. That's where we have boxes of stuff that we'll never sell to you unless you come into the store. I don't know why Tom Brady's there. That I always ask Bossman to take that down. He never does. Um, there's there's gifts. There's my top loaders, and there you go. There's the video of the store of what Jaspie's Hobbyland looks like. It's not that big. But it does the job. There's a, uh, there's a studio light right here that puts a glare right at that window. And uh, sometimes on games, it's in the bottom right-hand corner, right? So the glare is in the bottom right-hand corner of the TV. So there are some games where, I'm, where it's kind of annoying because the, the, the score is in the bottom right-hand corner. That's where the studio light, this hot, hot studio light, blocks that score, and it's, it's annoying. But this, this, uh, this exhibition soccer game I'm watching actually is okay. Tottenham, Tottenham just scored. Joe P has been here. Oh, a suite with boxes and box cart. Joe P, you must have been missed. You're talking about the Big Hit Garden, right? Well, we showed Joe P the Big Hit Garden. Joe P even rolled up his sleeves a little bit. Maybe, maybe showed off his green thumb. You know, Joe P helped me shovel, shovel some uh, Miracle Grow and some manure into. Um, into Diamond Icons Baseball, which is going to be which is going to be growing and harvesting next month. 
Uh, he helped water the uh, the big hit garden. He especially was like, "Ooh, Joe, is this is this Diamond Icon? Is this the Diamond Icon's baseball tree?" And I was like, "Yeah, Joe P." And he's just like, "Do you mind if I show it a little bit of love? Maybe put throw some water on there?" I was like, "Absolutely." You know, so that was the big hit garden. Boxes and boxes of stuff. That was the big that was the big hit garden. There was the big hit tree, big hit plants. Took forever to make the certified. Certified's kinda hard to hard to harvest. Um certified football is a ground plant. It's a ground product. So you gotta you gotta get down on your knees and just dig around. It's like a potato. You know, except in the in those huge cases, and it's like a pomegranate. So there's like two things inside. And you got to crack that up. It's kind of a hassle, but you know the boxes are kind of big. Some grow on trees. It just all depends on on what 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 product it is. There's out of seventy five certified potential Harrison Phillips. Well, yeah, we compost. Yes, that's right, Joe P. We compost. Grows from garbage. He says. All right, there's Michael Gallup. This time, Patch Auto for James and the Cowboys. You know, sometimes, Joe P., you just get a bad batch of seeds from uh, from Tops or Upper Deck or, or Panini or Leaf, you know. Sometimes, sometimes that happens, you know. Not everything's a hit every year. You know, not not everything's a bumper crop every year. It happens. Ronald Jones happening. New generation for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Andrew Hendricks. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. Josh Rosen to three ninety nine. That'll be for Greg. Wait, Joe, how old's how old's uh your kid? Under seven, right, I think. I think yours is under seven. She just turned four, I knew it. Eh? That doesn't help me, Joe P. I was gonna I was gonna send you some kid reporter cards, so you can go to the Super Bowl. Anyone in this break right now that that has a child or childs, any childs between the age of seven and thirteen? For mo a lot of you guys with kids, they're either too old or too young. No one's in that seven to thirteen zone right there. Todd, no, Todd's girls are all teenagers. Uh, Greg, you have two of them? Greg, do you want to go to the Super Bowl? Uh, you have to choose which one's your favorite. No, I'm kidding. Um, well, you're gonna have to. You're only. You can only take one child. It's. It's the um, it's the child that would want to be a kid reporter at the Super Bowl. You got to do a bunch of stuff. I think you got to send like a video of them like pretending to be a reporter and stuff like that. Because I don't think they want like, you know, they obviously want someone who can not be nervous asking a question in front of uh, a bunch of adult reporters. Well, uh, well, listen. I'll send you a stack and see what happens. If you go, though, you gotta wear like a you gotta have your kid wear a Jaspie's Hobbyland T-shirt. Just so, just so when Panini's taking all their press photos, 
I want you to I want you or your kid to be sporting a Jaspies Hobbyland t-shirt and represent. That's the catch. If you win, I won't ask to go to the Super Bowl with you. Doesn't it's not that big of a deal. You know, but if you go, then you got to do that. We'll 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 send you a stack. You're in this break anyway, so it'll be easy. I'll just be like, "Hey, send us I'll, I'll find a you'll get about you'll get about that much." There's Saquon Barkley. For the Giants, that'll go to Daniel Patera. And then there's Calvin Ridley to 175. Nice freshman fabric for the Dirty Birds. Connor with the Falcons. Jose saying that yesterday... Oh, is that Kmart on 3rd and Fairfax still there? I thought all those Kmart's were gone. I thought they were I thought they were like there's no way we're going to have a Kmart across the street from the Grove. I thought they would have gotten rid of that. Gabe, are are you am I in this break? This is pick your team 5, are you? I think you would know better than I would, right? And Dalton Schultz. He's a tight end. See, that joke doesn't work. Jake Butt, where are you? This goes to James and the boys. Might be Chiefs. You can't remember, Gabe. Are you just buying into things and you don't even remember? I appreciate that. I wish more people would do that. They're like, I just bought just to buy. I don't care. Remember who I have. Do you have Chiefs? Yeah, you actually have the Chiefs in this one. Uh, have I don't think we've seen any Chiefs yet. But we got four boxes to go, so good luck. That's right. Scared money don't make money. I don't know how many people tell me over the years have told me, yeah, I just buy a bunch of stuff and then whatever I get in the mail, I get in the mail. And I'm just, and I'll, and I would always be like, gosh, that's awfully trusting. And it's like, you don't even, you don't double check the videos. And and I, I've had people reply to email and be like, oh yeah, I guess I should. I, mean, I just figure you would send me stuff and I don't get anything. I didn't get, I didn't hit anything. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess, you know. It's awfully trusting. No, oh, we don't want them. We want we want you guys to get them. All right, there's Demarius Thomas, gold out of twenty five. Certified gamers. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe saying you, you got finally got that Alex Gordon I pulled for you. He PCs Alex Gordon and he's just like. It was your first, what, your first one in a while? Your first hit in a while? You almost cried? Ooh, Shaquem Griffin, one out of five. Nice. Am I running out of top loaders? I thought I was going to make it till the end of the break. I don't know if I am. I don't have the right sizes anymore. You almost, Gabe almost cried. Those, those hits always look better in person, Gabe. That's what I've discovered. All right, who has the Seahawks? John H. What the hell? There we go. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I got nervous there for a second. Something was wrong with the bell. Shaquem Griffin. John Kelly. Kalen Balaj. Kalen Bellagio out of 499 going to Jonah and the Dolphinos.
Gabe saying the only Alex Gordon hits you get off are off of eBay. It feels different when you get it when you win it in a case break, right? I've had people say, you know, it's a thrill of the chase. That's that's the fun part about this, folks. Not everyone's going to hit all the time, but when you do hit, there's a, there's a different feeling cuz we've had people we've had we've had detractors be like Yo, well, why don't you of all with all that money you spend on that same team? Why don't you just buy the the card off eBay? You know, it's not the same. It doesn't feel the same. A lot of people respond. It doesn't feel the same when you feel like you win the card. When you just buy a card, you're like, oh, okay, I just bought the card. You know, cool. It, it doesn't feel like there's true ownership of the card. There it is at three ninety nine. Bengals Mark Walton. But when you win it in a case break, it feels different. I've heard many, uh, many people tell us that, that it just just feels different when you get something. Sure, you can. I mean, everyone has, you know, everyone has the money. That's right. Me too, Ryan Hack. Oh, you were born with one hand as well. Well, then inspiration. That is a great story. One of my favorite stories of the draft. You know, some people aren't into it. Some people are like, hey, I'd rather just spend the money, spend that same amount of money and go to eBay and buy the cards. And I'm just like, yeah, go for it. I'm not stopping you. I'm not stopping you. I'm not saying there's no right or wrong way to collect, ladies and gentlemen. Never tell, never have anybody tell you what you should or shouldn't like. You know, there's no wrong way to collect. Everyone collects differently. Oh, Dylan saying I strictly PC off of box breaks. Nice. It's a little more it's more fun, he says. It is, I think. I think that's why that's why if you're here, if you enjoy the show, if you're joining our breaks, you know, it's it's safe to say that you probably feel the same same as a lot of other people in terms of why you're joining these case breaks. It's a thrill of the chase. All right, three more boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Ryan Switzer, nice out of ninety-nine. I'm, I'm as a Raider fan, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very interested in what Ryan Switzer, what what he can deliver for the Raiders. Uh, that goes to Jonah with my Raiders. And there's Ronald Jones. Nice patch, nice auto out of 299. Andrew Hendricks with the Buccaneers. Williams saying, and then there's the thrill of receiving Derek Barnett auto redemptions. You got mine a f from a few months ago. Momentous. Christian McCaffrey out of 199. Ryan saying, oh, you've got a site, Facebook page. You wrote a kid's book and you speak. Nice. That's awesome, Ryan. What's the book called? You can let people know in the chat. I'll, I'll, I'll shout it out. Good cause. Yeah, that the, the Griffin story was definitely uh, one of the more inspiring stories of the, uh, of the draft. Like, think, think about it, folks. When, when Jason Pierre-Paul like blew off some fingers because he was with a firecracker people were saying yeah dude's not going to be playing football like he only, he lost fingers and people were like D dude's going to be you know is is going to be severely affected playing football so now imagine not having a hand for and so for him to overcome those odds and get drafted Pretty, it's pretty incredible. Oh yeah, Gavin. I, I asked like who the redemption was, and I think you had just left. But 
It was J.P. Crawford. Nice. Didn't even realize it. All right, Ryan saying, well, go check out Different is Awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that. Now you're friends with Jim Abbott. Where does Jim Abbott live these days? He's, he's definitely a, uh, a Southern California legend. Has Evan Ingram still not signed his card, Sam? Are you still in California? Nice. All right. Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. There's Hayden Hurst. Oh, good. Well, everyone, check out Different is Awesome, then. Jamon Moore for the Packers. Sam Roll. Weren't you looking for this guy? Boom. Hey, no worries, Ryan. So that's cool. So when you were doing Children's Hospital and I got to play catch, which was, which was surreal. You know, um, I have a friend. She, um, she has a really bad... Uh, burns on her arms from a childhood accident and you'd be surprised and she's and she's a, she's a really attractive chick and you'd be surprised when she was growing up she was like you'd be surprised how many people just thought i was you know it's not not exactly a parallel with your story ryan but but the point is she ended up doing uh she ended up going to i think she volunteers at the children's hospital in la for kids in uh burn units to just kind of talk with them and speak with them and stuff like that. Because there is a weird stigma about that. I thought that was kind of weird. I don't know. Kids are mean, I guess. <laughs> All right, there's Matthew Stafford. I think I've officially run out of top loaders, folks. That's making us break too much. I think we're getting a new shipment of supplies next week. I'll we'll sleeve this up, though. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. You're welcome, Sam. We finally did it. I didn't think it was going to happen tonight. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I got nervous. I was like, do we are we might have to wait until Tuesday, Sam. I was I was gonna we we're gonna have to break the bad news. It's like Sam, I don't think it's gonna happen, but it did. I was glad. Yeah, it is. It's very cool, Ryan. I guess people uh um it's just fear of the unknown, right? Fear of something that you are not uh that's that you are not accustomed to. Everyone reacts differently. Sometimes people react with uh, with meanness. It doesn't mean they're mean. But, you know, once, uh, once they interact more with people, it's great. Gavin, what's up? Uh, it's on, this isn't on top of football, but definitely a sports highlight. Dodgers, Braves, Kemp, it's a liner right back at Peter Moylan, and it was a laser. Guy caught it and doubled up the runner on third. Well, I got to watch that. Uh, it's the same with uh, – this is some a great point someone brought up, Ryan Hack, um, about Josh Hader, you know, and all the, all, all, the, all the tweets he sent out when he was just a dumb kid, you know. And there was, all, there was this funny thing about like, oh, they're going to send him to, to like racial sensitivity class or something like that, you know. And, and I was just like – and someone may had on talk radio or something that made the comment, that's not how you change anything. You know, no one's going to learn anything from a stupid class. You know, it's just corporate BS, right? People just have to interact with more people. And guess what? 
you know, uh, things start getting a lot better when people interact with other people, people that might be different than them. You know, whether it's whether they're like handless <laughs> or whether they're green or purple or black or white or whatever the case may be. You know, there's Ray Ray McLeod, whether you're a McLeod. That goes to the Bills. That'll be for Greg, Last Bot Mojo. And that's, what, and that's what it is. It's just more interaction with more people. Guess what? You know? Things are things are fine. People realize we're human beings. Out of 349, there's Carry On My Wayward Son Johnson. That'll go to the Lions, Philip Lee. We're out of top loaders, but we're we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there before they before they get shipped out. These will these things won't go out until Monday or Tuesday anyway. We'll have those. We'll have them by then. Andy Dalton. 299. Yeah, Gavin, yeah, I right? Interaction is key. The more you interact with people, like if you interact with the if you interact with the same people, the same kind of people your entire life, yeah, chances are you're not going to be as understanding of other different people. All right. Good night, Gavin. I'll see you on Tuesday. Well, no, yeah, last box. I think we we have one more hit left. Could be a monster. Could be a monster or it could be Cortland Sutton to 399. You, you are now dismissed, guys. <laughs> That's the end. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate everybody digging deep. I know it was kind of a slower day today, and I know a lot of people spent a lot of money on that collegiate yesterday. But I appreciate everybody digging deep and knocking this break out. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Let's give away some points. Greg, I got some Super Bowl tickets for you. For you and your little one. One little one. You're going to have to decide. Maybe random.org can decide. Which kid gets to be the kid reporter? Or I suppose maybe the kid that is seems more apt to be on camera. It might be a good experiment to figure out which one. All right. Yeah, well, at least, yeah, at least those teams got a little something. All right, now we got to give away those points, another consolation prize. Let's get everyone's names from Greg down to Jared. Let's get them on the list here. Let's roll the dice nine times. Name on top gets the points. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, Andrew Jimi Hendrix. There you go. I'm sure you've never heard that one before. Thanks, Andrew. There you go. 150 points. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. JazzPeaceHobbyland.com.